Hello, and welcome back to the fish locker out on the boat. Now we've uh, we've managed to have a rare a rare situation where the three of us can get out on the boat together. As you can see, it's an absolutely lovely day. Got my uh, my wife just fishing away there, and we have little man's first fishing rod. Now this is an early birthday present for him, and it is a, a GX2 kayak rod. You can see there. Now it's only four foot long, which is perfect because he's only oh, what, three foot tall. It's an eight to 12 pound class rod. So it's got a little bit of strength in it. And I've just just married it up with one of the Abu Cardinal reels. And this is, I think this is 20 pound braver. And all we're going to be fishing today, is just a very simple one hook paternoster. Now we did catch a live prawn in the pot this morning on the way out. So James is going to be using his live prawn on his paternoster and we're hopefully going to see his first fish aren't we? is it going to be a big one? is it going to be a small one? I do it as a medium wrasse you're going to catch a medium wrasse there you go, you heard it from the man himself we're just going to jump you down a second alright yeah, all right. well you just no. you just sit yourself down there no, now, my wife and I, we're fishing with lures now, I've just got some new, new lures I was always a savage gay real man because, um, just because it's what I'd always used, I caught an awful lot of fish with them. And then from, from speaking to other people, I was um, I was recommended some sidewinders. I am fishing with one of these, which is a six inch pearl, and my wife is fishing with one of these, which is a shad. Now they're only, they're only light, they're only 23 grams. But um, the one that I'm using, you can see there, I always like, natural colours so whites blues greens silvers that type of thing as you can see look they've got a fantastic action they are really strong and they've got a really strong hook we're only fishing shallow here we're only in about 50 feet of water so we can fish straight from the spinning rod so all you do as you can see in the background there i've just got my um i've got a namura my, my wife there's got a black rock we've just got a couple of the abu cardinal reels in fact actually if my wife's reeling in i'll just show you it real quick All we've done is just married them up with one of the Abu Cardinal reels. I think we've got um, it's either 25 or 30 pound braid on there, and we've got a mono rubbing leader, and we're just fishing straight to the shad. And all she's doing is she's fishing a uh, sink and draw method, which is where you'll cast it out to a distance, let it sink to the bottom, and just I'll show you. Man, just busy fishing away there in the background. All you do is a bump and a little wind, bump little wind sink and draw so we're fishing quite close to the bottom now it's not very much drift at the minute we've only got about half a knot the tide is about to start flooding so it's going to pick up that's why we've got out here when we did and we're going to be fishing over a bit of reef hoping to catch pollock wrasse bass that type of thing and uh, I always hold out a little bit of hope for a John Dory I will, um, we are going to catch you a wrasse now, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. Get the little prawn out. See, they're all it is. If I can get him out of his, get him out of his cup. Tell you what, it really is alive, this one. It had coffee in that cup. <laughs> no wonder he's picked up there. <laughs> there look. And all I'm going to do is just thread him up the hook and fish it close to the bottom. Aren't you, little man? Yeah. Here's the hook. Yeah, there's the hook. Okay. Very carefully. Very carefully, okay. You are. You don't have to. Oh, he's jumped into my bucket. <laughs> Mom, 
and he dumped in his bucket. Semi-wow. Yeah, look, as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm just threading the hook up the prawn like that. So there. Yeah. The reason why you have to make sure that you get as much of the prawn on the hook as possible is because when a ras comes in and hits it, they hit them hard hey, and they will smash hey, them up. I want it. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be all you now. Come on in. You wanna stand up? Right, have it on this side. This hand down here. I don't want to me. No, no, I just can't. There we go. We're at the bottom now. Put your hand on the rail. Oh, there's a fish straight away, look. Quick. Oh, you missed it. Wait, wait, wait. James, you are doing it. There, look, look, you see him biting. No, I'm not. Oh, no, not yet. No. When he bites on, you need to lift it up. Oh, why? So, get ready. Does it bite? Not yet. Oh, feel that bite then? Yeah. When he does a real big bite, get ready. Oh, no, it's not yet. Yeah, it's hold still. Not yet. Hang on. I think it's actually a little ras. It's smashed his prawn now. Because we only had the one. I know we need to hold it. James, you need to hold tight. Get ready. No, no, no. Well, James has managed to hook into his first ras. Come on, keep going. Good boy, James. Are oh, you doing well? Keep going. That's it. Just wind it, wind it. Like that look. Yeah, you know how to do it. There you go. Is it fighting? Come on, wind it then, wind it. Don't stop. Keep going, keep going. Oh, we've got it. Oh, look, it's a pretty one. Whoa, I don't know why. Wow, you're so clever. Look at that one. We're going to have a look at it. Yeah. Okay, then. Come over here. Look at that. Yeah. What is it? It's a ras. It's a cuckoo ras. It's a tutu ras. It's a tutu ras. <laughs> He's pretty, isn't he? Yeah. He almost right. Like what colour is he? Blue. Blue and orange and yellow and white. He's very pretty. Look at his teeth. Oh, he's got some big teeth, hasn't he? That for crunching prawns and crabs? Yeah. We're going to get a photo with you and then we're going to let him go. Want to give him a little stroke? Hi. Give him a little bit of a touch on his head. Okay, you can do it. Oh, is he wet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. First fish on his first rod. Oh, let's get down. Cracking little male cuckoo ras. We've moved off the reef. And we've come for a little bit of a drift around in the bay. Hold a minute. And we've got some uh, some sabikis. 
we're trying for just push me over it. Lift yours right. There you go. Trying for some mackerel, some sand eels, and um, possibly if we can, some red bandfish. So we'll see what we can find. Now we are in around about 160 feet of water, so it's a long way down. Um, James's little rod, I've cut the feathers down, so he's only got two, and he's got a five ounce lead on there. Hannah's got a full string, she's got a six ounce lead. Any luck and we'll get to show you a fish. Just, just calm down, just to wait a minute, you just need to wait for the fishes to bite. When it, when, it, when it starts waggling, then you know you've got a fishy on. Come on then, James, you've got a fish. Up your stand. It's a long it way now. Come on. You've got a fish, you've got to not up yet. You need to keep winding. It's a long way. Come on, like I showed you. James, see if we can get him up first. Right. Maybe we'll take it easy. He's my favorite. I don't hear, I don't hear, I don't hear. I don't hear, I don't hear. It's not on the boat yet, it doesn't count until it's on the boat. Keep winding, keep winding. Come on, well done. Doing some good windings. See, there is this. Yeah. Oh, what's your mum got? Mum's got a poor cod. And I got it. Do you want it? Yeah, show it to the camera. Use that as bait. And I got it. What has James got? What has James got? Look what James has got! Oh, James, you've got two! You catch two of them! Yeah! Come on then, let's walk over here and have a look. I got two fishies. I got two fishies. You did catch two fishies. Oh. <laughs> look at them. They are mat wolves. They are red band fish. See there, look, all I did was I cut his trace down small so he could get away with a lighter lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them, they are so pretty, aren't they? Yeah. And you catch them on your new fishing rod? Yeah! I really, <laughs> I really did. Got a cod on. Let's get them unhooked. They are cracking looking fish, aren't they? Yeah, look. They've actually got loads of little tiny teeth, look. Get some photo of these and get them back. Get them in a bucket of water and then recover. Well done, James. Two? Yeah. Just come over a little mark of ground. And we seem to have found a patch of fish. Now Hannah's bringing up what looks like could be poor cod with some mackerel and scad involved. The reason I'm saying that is because she hit into some fish and then on the way up picked up some more. Scad, the big scad. Swing it in. Ah. Oh, ah. That did feel a bit heavy. Yep. Wow. Oh, oh there's, there's a dolphin. dolphin James behind you. I think he was chasing my fish. There you are, look, it's a big horse mackerel. Also called oh. scad. See the dolphins? Yeah! 
Let's do the one. Can't see a dog. Now the water is a little bit deep here and these are harder fighting fish so I'm not letting James wind this one up even though it is on his little kayaking one. When we go a little bit further inshore then he'll have it back. I was hoping that we could catch some mackerel and some scad, some sand eels maybe and then we'll go and anchor up see if we can't catch some bullhus. All we'd done there was we found a little bit of a peak in a reef and we'd just gone up tired of it and drifted down over it. And these fish hit literally just on the just on the back side of it. Oh, what's dad got? Dad's got a big fat pouting! Is that helicopter like with that boat? Look! Yeah. <laughs> The size of that pouting, James. He's a fat one, isn't he? Yeah. We're better turn around. Snap me some as well. He has been swallowing crabs. I can see one in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well stick keep it down there because you might find you get another one. Look at that look. That there is a ghost crab. I've literally just pulled out of him. Look. He was just in the process of swallowing that. <laughs> Can you see that helicopter, Jay? Yeah. Got another crab in there as well, actually. Look, got a belly full of crabs. Let's see what Hannah's got. Probably more scad. He's a flappy one, isn't he? Yeah, and he does this. And it does destroy our boat. There's a Lynx helicopter doing uh, doing exercises. You can get to see him here in the background. There is a patch just over there where we've seen gannets diving and uh, dolphins and porpoises working the surface. So we're going to head over there and see if we can't see what's going on. Do you want to wave at him, James? Oh god! They're too dark! They're aren't they? That one! Oh. Where's my weight gone? Can you he broke my weight off! <laughs> oh, your mum's got a scad! Whoa! One scad! One scad! I'm getting fish on my oh, foot! Boy. By another drift, we're just coming up to the mark now. Ooh, hold on. Want some worthwhile there? Take it out. Two poor cods. James, which looks like she's caught something good. Because she's only got sabikis on, and because they're only really right, really light line, it's something decent like a pollock or a codling. You need to really take your time with it. Pouting. It's a dumbbell pouting! It's so huge! 
<laughs> He's a big one. He might actually go back. <laughs> What's he Why doing? Where's my brake on? He just snapped the dress off. <laughs> oh. yeah. We've got enough bait now that we're. It's not the mackerel that we wanted, but uh, scatter just as good. The only problem with these little poor cod is. Probably a pouting chasing. Those little poor cod, because they're, because they're only small and because they come up from so deep, they don't go back, they just blow. It's alright, we'll see if we can't use them to go and find some bullos. Find some bullos and find some thornback rays. Nana's just getting a bite on this rod here. What's mama got now? Bullos are notorious for that. A real hard mouth and you need to really set the hook hard into it. Hopefully it'll come back. We're just fighting with the wind against tide. As the tide's dropping off, it's becoming less strong, so the wind's just overtaking. You can see it's spun us, spun us right round now, even though I've got a stern anchor out. And there are just loads of spider crabs. Three times now, brought it up, and there's just been a spider crab drop off just off the surface. We'll wind these in, and we'll maybe give that a go another day. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting a little tiny knocking bite on this and I thought I'll leave this one till the end. I'm glad I did now. It's either a half decent ray or it's coming in backwards. It's given up such a scrap. Oh, look. See, look, it just sat on the bait. But coincidentally, actually, this ray has also been hooked before. There, look, it's got a hook hole where it's been caught before this one. So it just goes to show you that. Wow. They do survive really well if you look after them and you release them. It is a manta ray, isn't it? It's a manta ray, man. It is. It's dripping on it. One move out of the way. It's about four or five pound, a little male thornback ray. Just quickly talk you through the rig that I had that ray on. You see there, look, just a very simple sliding ledger. But I'd used a grip lead. Because I knew the boat was going to be swinging around quite a bit, wind against tide. I used a grip lead and put it out and just sat the rod on the ratchet. So even though the boat was going to swing, the grip lead was going to hold it in place. And then all that was was, what do you call that? Two and a half feet, 40 pound mono, ending in a tenno Coxon Royal Chino. And I just cut a slither of that scad off that we caught earlier. Just a slither of scad. There you go, on a tenno Coxon Royal Chino. 
that was um, that was what we'd come for. That was what we'd anchored up for. Here we are, look. Nothing complicated about it. Well, that's it. As you can see, the wind's picking up. We've, uh, we've come almost to the end of the ebb now. We've uh, we're out, went out a decent time out this morning, didn't we? Yeah. Tried out your new fishing rod. Yeah. Caught you your first fish. What did you catch? A tutu ras. A cuckoo ras. And then you what did you have? To, you caught two red fish, didn't you? Yeah. A two red band fish. So we've had a cracking day already. All your first fish on your first rod. We had some um, some scads, some pouting, some poor cod out on one of the marks. Didn't get any pollock. We had a couple of hits on the lures, but it wasn't enough drift today. And then we come and anchored up with some of the scad that we'd, we'd caught and used them. I uh, missed one early on, I think it was a bullus. But then managed to get. Just calm down one second. They managed to get uh, a thornback ray. It's got a decent mix, David. A bit of lures, a bit of drift work, and a um, bit of fishing anchor. Well, the manta raise it. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I, I hope it's hope it's shown you can just have a bit of a lark about, mix it up a bit, catch some fish, and um, enjoy yourself. What are you gonna say? Bye from the fish locker. Bye from the fish locker.